about um, why bandwidth is important in choosing your hosting plan. Um, on the screen, I have a Forbes article that lists the popular and best um, hosting providers. And so I, I wanted to record this video because bandwidth is quite important in choosing a hosting plan. A couple of years ago, um, most of the hosting providers didn't have unlimited packages in, in um, case of bandwidth um, in their small little packages. But now I check them um, and I'm quite surprised because almost all of them have unlimited bandwidth in all packages. Um, I don't know about Java hosting, but many of these provide PHP hosting and uh, I mean Linux hosting with PHP enabled, but um, I haven't seen any that has a limited bandwidth. I checked the top um, four here and they have unlimited bandwidth. So I'm gonna talk about why it is very important to have unlimited or a quite high bandwidth in your hosting plan. So what we have here is um, the Forbes article. It lists um, Ionos, HostGator, Bluehost, DreamHost, and etc. I personally use Namecheap, but I think it's not that popular um, compared to the others in the list. So um, we're gonna check these ones that Forbes listed. So I have them open in my browser. So this one is Ionos, and so. I clicked on domains and hosting, there's WordPress and there's normal hosting. Uh, I'm going to click on um, web hosting. The dedicated ones, of course, have a lot more going on. You get a whole server to yourself, but um, these are the ones that we're going to look into. Um, so this one says $1 a month and then $12 a month. Well, that's a bit high for me, but okay. Um, it has 99.9 uptime over at PHP with JIT compiler, SSL, DDoS protection. Good. So let's see um, the description. So it says unlimited websites, unlimited storage, unlimited databases, and enhanced hardware, um, free domain, wildcard SSL, professional email, etc. It doesn't mention bandwidth. Um, I'm assuming it has unlimited like the others because if we go to HostGator here, um, let's look at the recommended baby plan. It says up to five websites, 40 gigabytes of this space, unmetered bandwidth. So let's click on the information button. It says bandwidth is metered, which means you're not charged according to the amount of bandwidth you typically use in a normal operation of a personal or small business website. However, we do require all customers to be fully compliant with our terms of service and to not exceed 25% or more system resources for longer than 90 seconds. All right, it's still sort of unmetered, unlimited, so that's quite good. Um, let's look at Bluehost. It says basic package $2.95 a month and 73% discount. It says unmetered bandwidth as well. So this one is DreamHost and they also have unlimited traffic. Let's click on that. We don't track bandwidth or traffic, so you never have to worry about pesky um what? Oh rage fees. So oh yeah, this one is Bluehost, Unmetered, DreamHost, Unlimited, Emotion, Unlimited. But of course you gotta check your storage too. I mean, and also file count. For example, mine has 300,000 files limit and you cannot exceed that. Um, so it's good to check that amount because both the storage um, limit in gigabytes and the file count. And the reason for that is, for example, if you install WordPress or another um, control panel management system, they typically have tons of files that you don't deal with but they're they exist to make the system run so um in that case you gotta have um ideally um, hundreds of thousands of file limits and that's something to keep in mind too but this video is about bandwidth so let's stick to that um so one other thing is 
So the bandwidth is unlimited, but how do you measure bandwidth? What is the criteria? So bandwidth is basically the data transfer that's going on between the server and the client. So for example, you bought a hosting package that ha has, let's say, 500 gigabytes of bandwidth per month. What that means is within a month, your total, uh, the, the total amount of data transfer going on between your website and the clients, the visitors to your website cannot ex um, exceed 500 gigabytes per month. If that happens, um, there are a couple of things depending on your hosting provider that can happen. One is they're going to limit um, the speed um, to save their resources um, or they can completely shut down your website until um, the next month comes in or whatever the criteria is but um, you don't want that to happen if the website is important to you so you gotta have unlimited bandwidth and also check their hardware specifications because if they're low in terms of RAM or CPU clock speeds and etc then your website is gonna be there up and running but um, reaching it may take long time and the visitors may just get bored and quit so that's not good either um, but bandwidth is very 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 important if you have high traffics and if you need your website up and running fast and you have a lot of users and especially if you have file downloads th that's the big thing if there are a lot of files that users download from your website you're gonna need a huge amount of bandwidth because for example let's say you're a gaming website and you have free downloads of various games for your clients. What if thousands of people start downloading one or two games and what happens is each game, um, the um, let's say the size of each game is going to be counted as bandwidth. So for example, user A downloads um, one gigabyte of a game. The user B does the same. Now you have two gigabytes minus your total allowed bandwidth. So you get what I mean, right? And for that not to get interrupted, you gotta have unlimited bandwidth. But that's not the only thing because some of them say unmetered and they say it is bound to the limitations of their hardware. So you gotta check their hardware specs. So um, what if it is a meter but they only have for example the capacity to handle 10 users at a time downloading some stuff from your website that's not going to be good because there might be 20 people downloading files at the same time simultaneously um, you got to check all of those so this video is about why bandwidth is important in choosing your hosting plan and I hope you learned stuff or you didn't but um hope to see you in the next one